So um, this morning I've been thinking about, uh, I watched a program on the TV last night, uh, Brian Cox, The Universe, and he was talking about how we now know the universe is expanding, which means uh, things used to be closer together. And then he repeated that for about half an hour in various ways with some amazing pictures and it was all a bit mind boggling. And then he went on to some other theory about, you know, the, the, I know Stephen Hawking used to talk about the, or talks about the singular, singularity. So the one point, the Big Bang, and then Brian Cox was talking about before that. They think they have an idea about what was before that now. Anyway, <clears throat> it's all a bit mind boggling for me, but um, it's fascinating for sure. And uh, food for thought, if thought's what you want to do. But anyway, this is about not thinking so much. Um, and what I was thinking about was uh, the many and the one, that, you know, we live in a world of duality, there's the two, there's you and me, this and that. Um, and, you know, they, they think, scientists think that everything that we have now, the, the universe, all the universes, all the galaxies, it all emerged from a single point, apparently 13.8 billion years ago. Um, but it came from one thing, and maybe in a way we all crave one thing, and we're quite good at one thing. We know now from studies, multitasking is a myth. We can only do one thing at a time. People who say they're good at multitasking are actually good at switching from one thing to another. So we crave the one thing. In meditation, we focus on the one thing. So in fact, meditation is what we all crave. Give it a go.